So I I did a lot more fiddling with this and I'm not really I'm not really getting anywhere. I also remember now that I can probably just leave the elevator on the top floor and then take the stairwell down. Except that the stairwell is broken on the third floor. I remember that now. Like this stairwell might be Yeah, okay. Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. That was almost bad for me, right? Um I wonder kind of what happens if I get off on the fourth floor without... I think that might break the game, actually. Uh, I kind of want to try it, but that... that um, I think I've done enough today where I essentially just broke the game, so... Instead... Hold on. I am going to leave this on top floor, but you see, I can get off the elevator while it's going up. And if I put that on the blue floor, and then send it down, or really anywhere, and then get off it, I am, I'm stuck on that floor. I think. I think. It's a, a fun theory, isn't it? I don't know if I want to test it, because, I mean, I actually kind of like how this game is going. There's a green tint. So, okay. I'm going to kind of talk about what I was thinking so far, right? Um, actually, hold on. Is this even going to help me? Okay, so my thought was the next floor is a green floor, so the solution would be based on how the colors look under a green light. And you can kind of see that from here. you got the big green windows and the green lights. I don't know if I can get up there from out here, or get closer to that. I think so, because you can, you can go a lot of places here, and I'll be honest, this is a pretty nice open exploration game. Yeah, this wasn't difficult. I was like, I was, on, I was honestly fully just iffy on kind of doing anything. You know what? This is the top of that elevator shaft. Yeah, I guess so. The whole idea is just to get all the way out. Well, how about that? I'm still not entirely sure about... Um, how did I get down there? How did I do that? Wacky. Yeah, this didn't help. This didn't help me as much as I would have hoped. You know what, though? I can come over here, and I can look through these windows, as I basically had already done from below. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not actually helping me. Am I going to actually have to think about subtractive color mixing and additive color mixing and things like that? Like, that's, that's a bit over my pay grade, if I'm being honest. That's like, that's like a little bit more than I bargain for, typically, and I don't know if that's actually... I don't know if the puzzle is actually following those rules. Um, because the colors are kind of going in a weird direction a little bit, you know? I mean, I, I guess... Let me go look back at the elevator. It just, it, it seems weird to me after spending so much time in there that this would actually be a puzzle that can be solved from the elevator. Because I don't think it can. Let me look. Ah. Maybe it does. Maybe that does make sense. Because if you think about it from the standpoint of only blue light getting shed on these, um... I'm really hoping this is additive color mixing, because that's all I'm really good at. Um, so this would be a color that doesn't have any amount of blue in it, because there's no light being rejected. So it'd be, in, in actuality, it's something like orange, or red, or, I mean, I guess I would argue green, but I don't think so. Um, this is interesting. This is interesting now that I think about it. So... Ah, 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 ah. 
So here's what it looks like on this floor. And then if you go further up into a more lightly blue colored room, which starts including greens. So I guess it is subtractive color mixing, which again is a bit beyond my pay grade. Because now there's like blue green, sort of, which I wouldn't call light blue a blue green, but actually no, because there's green light filtering in through here. So, taking that into account, we now have a green, because there's green light reaching it that then can bounce off of the material, the pigments or whatever. It just seems way too involved to actually be correct, but um, I guess we're, let's just uh, kind of think about it um, from all the way at the bottom and see if it actually kind of pans out. So these are all colors that involve blue to some degree, or I guess don't involve blue. The idea, well, anyways. Yeah, but light, e e even if I'm taking it from a, a light bouncing off something kind of spectrum, you know, so that would mean that this is something that involves red and green, which is brown. That you, it's just how you make brown, you know? And then this floor, since you have, like, blue and red and purple, I mean, oh, well, I guess it does kind of make sense, because this, this, this has always been a bluish color, and now that we're on the red floor... So I guess there's red, blue, and green. Yeah, RGB. All right, it's an RGB thing. Um... Since this is pure red, uh, the blue color doesn't come through, because it's really like a bluish green. Right. Uh, the problem here also is that we're going to end up skipping a floor. The idea is that I can deduce what a pure green would look like. But I don't know that I can. Ah. I think it would just look the same. Actually, hold on, it would just look like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I'll see if I can explain the logic behind that as we as we go past the blue and cyan floors. But following the same kind of logic there, where these ones were pure blue because they didn't have any amount of green in them. So under a green light, they would just appear to be well, this blackish color and then all the other ones that had like blue and green in them would appear green and then these ones which i guess they're well yeah they're brown um or orange they're green and red which i mean if if, if you've uh you know if you're well acquainted with the color wheel you know that green and red actually make brown but i suppose in this you know fun fantasy land we can sit here and act like they make um, you know not that also that's interesting isn't it okay there was a split second there that the colors were different I think the color okay hey cool we're all the way out here I don't know that this is solvable it probably is Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, actually. Which means... Hey, hey, hey! Ha-ha! 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 Wahoo! Okay, so it, red and green make yellow. RGB is wacky, man. I don't understand RGB. But yeah, even just seeing this and having, like, a subtractive color mixing frame point, uh, um, you probably could de have deduced the entire thing or I guess you could have just done this and it would have taken you straight to the top because that's kind of how the game works but you know wahoo that's another big old laser down huh what other space do I have to go to I don't even remember also I feel like there's not enough um, stuff done you know you know what I bet um, oh, I kind of want to do that. I, uh, I'm really going to have to properly give myself the talking to and make sure that I don't step out of the elevator while it's going past a floor that doesn't have stairwell access because then I'm going to be stuck there, I think. This thing's going to fire off, right? It's not going to blind me or, like, shoot me through the head or anything, right? Remember, kiddos, always stare right down the barrel of guns. Okay, never mind. It's a projector, okay. 
Uh, also, you'd never stare down the barrel of a gun. Uh, what are you, Alec Baldwin? You gotta treat it like it's loaded, man. Um, God, remember how he got off Scott Free for that? Good times, good times. Yeah. Well, down we go. I do really want to see if there's anything in that other room. Because I did spend the entire time in just here, you know. But, again, if I have the elevator moving down and I get off the elevator and I get off on a floor that I can't get out of except for the elevator, and the elevator's still moving, then I'm kind of screwed. And I did already look into this room, so I don't have to... <laughs> I really want to try... I really... I honestly just really want to see if the game will let me softlock myself. It won't! It won't let me softlock myself. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. In that case, will the elevator stop on this floor if I get off? That's good. That's good. The people that made this game were smart. They were intelligent enough to know that stupid people would do stupid things. And therefore, you can't let them, you know, ruin themselves. There's got to be... There's just got... It's still going. The elevator's still moving. The ele... The elevator was still moving. Uh... Um... Am I stuck on this floor now? Am I actually... Did I screw myself up? Huh? Oh, okay. Whoo! <laughs> oh, hey, I knew there would be something like this here. As scientists, we realize that color is merely a question of the wavelengths of ethereal vibrations. But that does not seem to have dispelled the feeling that eyes which reflect light near wavelength 4800 are a subject for rhapsody, whilst those which reflect wavelength 5300 are left unsound. We have not yet reached the practice of the Laputans who, if they would, for example, praise the beauty of a woman or any other animal, they describe it by roms, circles, parallelograms, ellipses, and other geometrical terms. The materialist who is convinced that all phenomena arise from electrons and quanta and the like, controlled by mathematical formulae, must presumably hold the belief that his wife is a rather elaborate differential equation. <laughs> but he is probably tactful enough not to obtrude this opinion in domestic life. If this kind know. of scientific dissection is felt to be inadequate and irrelevant in ordinary personal relationships, it is surely out of place in the most personal relationship of all, that of the human soul to a divine spirit. Arthur Eddington, 1927. A swell fellow. I like that way more than the last quote. That's it. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, I, I guess this would have been more content if it, he had said something kind of ludicrous, like, uh, just believe in nothing, um, and <laughs> I, 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 okay, I will admit, I, that wasn't really the point of the last one, you know what I want to do, I kind of want to go back to this island, like, I think I understood the island, Right! Okay, I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, God, it would be good. It would be good of me to make sure, but I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go straight for it. And we will act like we've gotten all of the, the cool puzzles done. And uh, I just want to see if I'm right about one thing. Because the temple. Not the temple, the town. The town had that impossible looking color based puzzle and I bet it has some colored glass around that I can peer through and that that'll be where the uh, the fun arises but at the same time that looks like a place that has something interesting in it I bet maybe I'll look at that later at the same time um, it it's still it's still a match two kind of puzzle you know so, 
No, 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 that's not a problem. That's not a problem, though, because if they're all the same color, or, no, if they're all different colors, if there's two of each, then the puzzle solves itself. You can match different colors as long as there's only two of them within a single block. Right, right, right. We'll be fine. Uh, good times, good times, good times. Uh, well, here we are, sort of. We'll, we'll uh, get back to doing town stuff on the next episode. Is this one that I've done already? It doesn't show up with sparkles, so I'm just going to maybe make the assumption that I somehow missed one of the more simple of those. And just because I'm absolutely going to forget about it if I don't do this now, I really want to visit this little enclave, if that's the right word for it. Just to see if there's anything over here. I don't see how I wouldn't have done this, actually, because there's like a path winding up to it and everything. There's a little wall here. And again, there's a path going to a lot of places. What are you reaching for the cup for, pal? You got anything in your pockets? Got any memos for me? Please? Louise? Pull me off of my knees? Jack, get back. Come on before we crack. Loose your blues? Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. I wonder what he sees. What does he see here? It'd be cool if I could inhabit the same space as he does. But, uh, that's not happening. What an interesting fellow. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, on the next episode, we're going back to the town, and I'm going to try opening that door that I couldn't open. And I guess we're also going to try and open that uh, sound-based puzzle in the basement in soundproof room. Yeah. You would think that to be some kind of, uh... Why did I think anachronism? Also, does it show you? Okay, it does, but only if you can actually spot the start. Okay, so I probably did get the environmental puzzle. Maybe. I sure hope so, because if I didn't, that's going to be... Uh, I mean, it's going to be hellish to get to 100% anyways. Please tell me there's colored glass somewhere around here. Please, please tell me that. Oh, okay, I'm I'm just going to skip past the part where I spend way too long trying to just there be an easy solution to this puzzle. Um, we kind of got somewhere at the end, you know. I think it's a, a physical blocking type thing, but, uh, you know, we'll figure that out next time. It'll work at some distance, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, this has been going on for too long. I'm going to figure this part out on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will twist your head off. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.